First open back in 2012. We're live inside the cavernous Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Colorado Rockies and the Miami Marlins. The Marlins have now won five consecutive games. They'll aim to continue their winning streak next. Chris Sale, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, this guy's been throwing the ball really well. He picked up his 10th win of the year in his last one, and he'd like nothing more than to make it two good ones in a row and pick up his win number 11 today. At the plate, Charlie Blackman, and we are set for baseball here this evening. For Colorado, center fielder, Charlie Blackman. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. First of three here to start the week as the game's first pitch is taken for strike one. Guys, this Marlins ball club, as they begin play here tonight, they come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Matty, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. Ball straightens him up a bit. One and two now. Can't ask for better conditions. 83 degrees here at first pitch tonight. Now here's the pitch. Hit hard down the line. But well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And the fastball easy to lay off that time. Two and two. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. And now a slider is swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is set down to open up the ball game. And a moment now to peek at the Rockies' starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? Yeah, keep an eye on Charlie Black. He's hitting over 350 versus left-handed pitching this season, and that's what we're looking at today. If those numbers hold true, he could be in for a huge performance. At the plate, Daniel Murphy, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. No balls in one strike. Murphy has a history in coming through in the clutch moments, of course. It's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually a trait that a player possesses. But with him, there's no denying it. We've seen him deliver in big moments repeatedly throughout his career. It just seems he elevates his game somehow when the pressure is on. Yeah, Matty, he has definitely put that debate to rest. He has absolute ice water in his veins. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He was one of the stars from yesterday's game as he had three hits in the victory. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Just starting things out here in South Florida. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Soler is there. And the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rockies. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. John Gray will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Here's Starling Marte. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here comes the first pitch. 
Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Now, boys, we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, Matty, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game. They scored a bunch of runs, and let's see if they continue that today. Behind 0-2 now. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Takes this the other way to right, but he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first down. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup and how they continue the winning streak. Are we still a big believer in bat and average, Matty? In today's game, I I'm more interested in the OPS number. But that's not to take anything away from this offense. They lead the league in batting average. And what that tells me is they're getting a lot of guys on base. There's a lot of guys with some good approaches and good plans today. See if that leads to a bunch of runs. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Individual matchup numbers against John Gray. He's three for 15. He's taken him deep once. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Gray, 28 years old. He was a first round pick back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. Here's the first pitch to him. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Bonifacio is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Marlins. We are still scoreless. And that will bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. And there are our umpires for this one. Working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker. Well, Dero, Daryl Parker behind the dish, and you ever really know what you're going to get from this guy. Yeah, sometimes, and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's not the case. But as an offensive player, you have to find a consistent zone. You just can't. The wind-up and the 0-2 pitch. And here's a slider strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. All right, here's the defensive alignment for the Miami Marlins. And let's take a look at Starling Marte, another one of those super athletic outfielders of the new regime. Ability to cover ground, can play multiple positions in the outfield, and hit in the middle of the order. In now for Colorado, Didi Gregorius looking to stay hot. He's been a real threat at the plate the last week or so. Here comes the first pitch. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. Gregorius, a Dutch-born ball player. He's got plenty of contract security. This is the first year of a new five-year deal. And I can't tell you what that means for a ball player. To be able to know you're going to make your home for many years to come in one community. You can invest in a team, invest in the community, and really, really plant down roots. This is an unbelievable opportunity. A ball and two strikes to Didi Gregorius. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. He threw first and hustling for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well-hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. 
standing in now, Ian Desmond. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. Nine homers and an even 40 RBIs. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. And he takes a cold strike two. No score here as we play inning number two. Even count of two and two to Ian Desmond. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Gregorius is on his way home, and he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. A high fastball is in there. The 0 1 pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Hey, make a pitch right here and get out of this. Get the boys in the dugout and regroup a little bit. One run is not going to kill you. Desmond leads off first with one away. Inside, as he might be trying to set him up here, one and two. Side. And that's in there. Base hit. And he's safe. No mistake what he was sitting on. Looking for a dead red piece of cheese middle of the plate and he didn't miss it. That'll bring up Tony Walters. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Walters, a 27-year-old, he was selected in the third round back in the 2010 first-year player draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. He throws him on the fastball there. Tony Walters goes down for out number two in the top half. Runner on first in a double play situation, so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. And now John Gray as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Rocky's pitcher with a bat in his hands and a one and two count. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base, and after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Rockies forced to settle for one. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Rockies one, and the Marlins nothing. Ready now for the Marlins, Franz Reyes. He was Leading one for four Marlins. with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. Franz Reyes. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. I can't speak from experience, but that's got to feel good right there. Throwing a nasty changeup first pitch and getting a swing and a miss on it. Now he pretty much opened up any pitch in his arsenal. Oh, I had him reaching a thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2.
Oh and two count. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Reyes is retired, and there's one away. All right, guys, so here's how the Colorado Rockies set up defensively. And, guys, the things you need to focus on today, you've got to watch this team. They have the most errors in the league. You cannot be a successful ball club and kick it around and give this team extra outs. Let's see what happens. In is Jorge Soler. He's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. First delivery to him on the way. Smoke on the ground up the middle. Story throws it in. And that's the second out. Batting third. Third baseman. Garrett Cooper. Stepping in, Garrett Cooper. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch on its way. Here we go. Hard hit ball to second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Miami down in order. It remains 1-0. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Behind 0-2 now. And a wasted pitch there, one and two. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And that one stayed up a little high. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. Bases are empty, one man out. Nope. One, two is an off-speed pitch. No dice, it's two and two. Looks at a fastball low here, and it's full three and two. With the meat of the order due up next, you could probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two-hole hitter. Good battle. Count remains full. Hey, he's got four foul balls in this A.B. right here. He's really making his pitcher grind for everything. Fouled away. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Well, when you go with a the slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. So striding in, Trevor Story. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. He's set and the pitch. Nope. And he'll miss the target away with the fastball. It's 1 and 0. Murphy stands at first with one out. And that one just missed outside. 
not the ideal spot to be right here. 2-0 count on a real good hitter. Boy, you're going to have to make some really good pitches now. Sale ready with the 2-0. This one's hit deep out to left center field. So they're going back. A leap at the wall, but forget it. It's gone. A home run. Trevor Story with a two-run shot. Number 23 for him thus far. And the Rockies have now taken a three-to-nothing lead. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Gets two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to him. Into the box now, David Dahl pulled toward right center field. Marte on the move. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The batter, third baseman, D.B. Gregorio. Here's Didi Gregorius. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. Change up that catches the corner for strike one. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. Popped him up. Cooper has got it and the side is retired. But the Rockies push across two, both coming on this two-run home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now a 3-0 Colorado lead. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattel Marte. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Here comes the first pitch. Missed with a slider. The 1-0. High and deep to left center field. Dahl racing back at the track. This one's down. It's the first hit for the Marlins, and it's going to be for extra bases. And the throw in gets away from him. Talk about starting off the inning with a bang. Goodness. When this thing left the bat, I thought it was out of here. And I think he might have, too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double. Now to the plate, Ari Perez. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Hey. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. A pause and the 0 2. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Let's get him next time. So one gone now in the inning, and it's a good time to pull up our upcoming schedule as you see what's on tap for the Marlins in the next seven days. The pitcher, Chris Sale, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0-1. This is what fires me up right here. You don't get a chance to see this every day of the week. You got the reigning Cy Young Award winner squaring off against the reigning MVP. That's why you pay the price of admission. Here comes the 
Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at bat. It's 0 2 now. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. The 0 2 delivery. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now, after back-to-back -back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in or at least getting him over. Into the box, Starling Marte. As he overcommits here to a slider out of the zone, one strike to count. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. in the air out to center field. Blackman is under it. And that ends the inning. Marlins lead one. They trail it here three to nothing. Now in the box, Ian Desmond. He came through with an RBI in single in his last at-bat. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the fresh run and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Now the pitch. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. The one-two. And the changeup is way low that time. Now a fastball. Oh, look below the knees, but he rings him up anyway, and there's one gone. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. And that'll bring up Jorge Bonifacio as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. One for one after a single this first time up. Sent on the ground out to second. Marte has it. And there are two away now. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time. And that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Digging in, Tony Walters. He got called out on strikes his last time through. First offering on its way. There's a strike. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sinking fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Colorado's out in front, three to nothing. Into the box, Chris Taylor set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. 
but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. You might see a change of game plan right here from the pitcher and catcher. They have to find a way to get these guys off that early count heater. Look for a little bit of change of pace. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Chris Taylor with a solo shot. Number 21 for him on the season. And the Marlins strike for a run. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Now so that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh and one count and the pitch and boy was he ever fooled on that pitch it's 0 and two now one ball is already left the yard and the big boys haven't even come up again get the fireworks ready into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch the short hit hard on the first so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first down. Time now for the Rockies Road to the Show report as we get a look at two players making some noise in the upper minors. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Franz Reyes. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. One run, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Down and away, ball one. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. The 1 1 home. High in the air out to center field. Blackman is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now that left fielder, Jorge Colaire. In is Jorge Soler. Here's the first pitch to him. Chop weakly to the left. Throw in time and the side is retired. Marlins able to draw just a bit closer thanks to the solo home run. We're through four. It's the Rockies three and the Marlins one. Into the box now is the Colorado pitcher John Gray looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Flare out toward right center. Reyes shading to his right. One out. Now back. Center fielder. Here's Charlie Blackman now. And he's at risk of the old hat trick. Two strikeouts on his line so far. Yeah, and it seems like these hat tricks and golden sombreros 
are a lot more common than they were, say, 10, 15 years ago. Guys have stopped worried about striking out as much. It's really been an ideological shift in the game. That's a big topic of debate. Yeah, guy's not going to worry about three strikeouts if he can add a game-winning hit to that line. Three runs, four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. On the ground to the right side. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. How about it? Second base, Daniel Murphy. Digging in once again, Daniel Murphy. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Lifted down the line and left. After it is Solaire. And they can't run it down. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Three up, three down for Colorado. And the lead remains three to one. Into the box now, Garrett Cooper. He's over for one thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. Sent on the ground out to second. And there's one down now. The batter number four, second baseman, Patel Marte. Stepping in, Patel Marte. He'll try to follow up the doubles in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is on the ground over to first. There is Desmond, and he'll step on first himself for the out. The catcher, number 13, Ari Digging in to try it again, Ari Perez. First offering on its way. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Didn't waste any time, like the first pitch he saw to keep the inning going. Now about Don't it. sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He throws out a whole ambush hey, tactics. First pitch fastball, middle in. He's able to drive that for a nice save. Standing in now, Chris Sale. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Bonifacio is going to get there, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for Miami, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Digging in and looking for more, Trevor Story. And he'll step in to start things out against Chris Sale. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Well, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. If he's going to have the ability to flip that in there whenever he wants, this is going to be a tough test. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter. And instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit.
And that will bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. This is on the ground over the first. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Touche, sir. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Ready for another shot now. Didi Gregorius. And his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. First delivery to him on the way. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. The 0 1 pitch. Missed with a slider. A great take on that slider away right there. But I'm thinking in that situation, that pitcher's got to execute a little bit better. That was almost a non competitive pitch. Being outside, you could almost have let that one go right out of his hand. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. One and two, here it comes. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Quick. Popped him up. Cooper in foul ground. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rockies. And it's still three to one. Here's Starling Marte. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Starling Marte. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0 1. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. Uh, you could just see this guy out on the mound right here. Just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game. Executing a nasty slider down the way right there, giving this offense no chance. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first down. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Chris Taylor is working on a one for two game so far. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. 0-1 the count. Taylor behind, 0-2 the count. On, he pops it up. Murphy onto the grass. And that's the second out of the inning. Now with the play, Matt Chapman, 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Blackman. And that's the third out. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Score holds, it's three to one. So coming to the plate, Ian Desmond, one for two in the ball game thus far. First offering on its way. No balls and a strike to count. Away the 0 1 pitch. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Change up and he ain't buying it one and two. I love a well executed change up, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. And he fouls this one off. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. 
the batter, right fielder. And that'll bring up Jorge Bonifacio, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Looks like he's got a good feel for that two seam fastball this far into the game. He's used it really effectively tonight. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Bounce towards the mound. Throw gets him. Two down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The catcher, number 14. That'll bring up Tony Walters. He was a ground out victim last time up. First offering on its way. This is on the ground over the first. Backhanded. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Three up, three down for Colorado. But they hang on to a three to one lead. Here's the cleanup hitter, Franz Reyes. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. One ball, no strikes to count. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bonifacio's under it. One out. Now batting. Left fielder. Jorge Soler. Digging in. Jorge Soler. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. One out, nobody on. Popped him up. Murphy over to his right. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting. First baseman. Garrett Cooper. Now with the plate, Garrett Cooper is 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. I mean that's just an awesome curveball right there a 12 6 breaker with nasty downward tilt you know the game's getting back to that that good four seam fastball breaking ball instead of the sinker slider guy. behind Owen two now hey from an offensive standpoint you better get it ready this guy is not throwing a ton of pitches he's confident in his stuff he is pounding the zone he's got two quick outs you better pull the trigger. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Miami down in order. They still trail it here three to one. Now to the plate, the pitcher, John Gray. He'll start us off in the eighth. John Gray. Here comes the first pitch. Hit back up the middle. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. How about it? The center field, Charlie Blackman. Striding in for the Rockies, Charlie Blackman. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. 
tough slider down low for a strike. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. And he won't offer it that. Too high. One and two. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there. Didn't work. But now we'll see if that sets up some different options. Wouldn't be surprised to see a good slider down and away right here. Skied in the air to straightaway left. There to pull it in is Soler, and there are two away. Daniel Murphy. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Yeah, Matt, that's a great point. If this two hitter finds a way on, it really sets up the very good middle part of the order to do some damage after all. Even on 0 and 2, a dangerous count for Daniel Murphy. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he will strike him out. 10 now in the ballgame, and the inning is over. 1 2 3 go the Rockies. As the lead remains 3 to 1. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. He leads off there half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. The 0-1 on its way. High fly ball after straightaway center. Blackman's after it. He's got it one away. The catcher, number 13, Ari Stepping up to the plate, Ari Perez. He singled his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. On a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Hey, D Row, that's a one out single right there. And hey, the pitcher hasn't pitched out of the stretch in a while. He's been pretty sharp so far in this one. Yeah, and hopefully that runner right there can get his attention. A little bit more diverted on first base, and then he leaves a cookie over the middle of the plate. Ryan Zimmerman will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 11, Ryan Zimmerman. will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 25, Tim Hodge. Yanked on the ground down the line. To second for one. On to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We've played eight full. It's the Rockies three and the Marlins one. Always a party in Miami Beach. Not too far from us here at Marlins Park. Set to begin the ninth inning in this one. Tyler Kinney enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Trevor Story will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. Martin Maldonado is into the ballgame here as he takes over behind the plate. And that'll get down out there near the wall. 
And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well, it's always daunting to know that you've got to deal with the three, four, five hitters to start out an inning, but even more so when the three hitter starts it out with a double. Yeah, he's going to have to start making some good pitches to get out of this thing. Job number one is to get the next guy, and ideally, you keep him from advancing his runner to third with less than two outs. David Dahl stands in as he looks at ball one here. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. That's a real good job of going back-to-back -back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. Here's Didi Gregorius. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First delivery to him on the way. A high fastball is in there. Kenny, a native Floridian. He was a 16th round selection back in the draft of 2013. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. Story leads off second with one gun in the inning. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Now that for me, check swings are right there next to Bang Bang Place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Stepping in now, Ian Desmond. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. That misses 2 and 0. Tread lightly in this situation. Got a great hitter at the plate, runner in scoring position. Don't be afraid. He got the base open. Working to keep them in the game here. 3 and 0. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Two out here and a runner at second. That one's in there. 3 and 1. Hey, that 3-0 pitch might have been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. And it's fouled away. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep them out of danger. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Wade Davis comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the night. Number 71, Wade Davis. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Starling Marte could really use a knock here over three in the game so far. Hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in a box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Grounded weakly toward third. To his left, Gregorius. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I bet he'd like to have that one over. Taylor. So digging in now, Chris Taylor, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy wise here. for a first pitch to the plate to move to first. And he'll get back in standing. Let's go one more time, baby! Another look to first, keeping particularly close tabs on him. On, 
first pitch of the at bat. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Nobody out, runner on first. Throw over to first, but the runner's back easily. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Ready with the 0-1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Waiting on it is Dahl. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting, third baseman. Riding in, Matt Chapman. Not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. First delivery to him on the way. Drilled on the ground is short. One there. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. And he just keeps on going and going. That's save number 35 for the season. And he's proven to be as reliable as anyone in the game. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. Colorado took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. John Gray earns his team leading 11th win as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Chris Sale struck out 10 in the losing effort. Wade Davis earns the save out of the bullpen, his 35th of the campaign. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Final line score for our ballgame tonight for the victorious Rockies. Three runs, five hits, one error. They left three men on base. For the Marlins, one run, four hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 34 minutes. Thanks for joining us this evening, and please drive home safely.